It's a freeze. Oh, no, 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 no. But yeah. What is up and welcome to another episode of the Miseducation of Music. You are here with Jay Trev as always, but I got a very special guest in the building and we're actually recording on New Year's Day yes. in 2022. So I got a Dia do in here for the New Year's episode, even if man, I dropped this on New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you're in here for the first episode of the New Year's. Yes. So this is dope. Thank you for being here. What's up? Yes. Thank you for having me. It is a pleasure. Very excited to be here. Nothing much, you know, we kicking it, doing the do, 22. Doing the do, 20. Okay, we're going to tag that. Is that a hashtag? Yeah, it's like, it's like a whole, yeah, you. it's a thing. We're going to promote it. We're going to put it together. We're going to drop that a couple times. Super corny, but yes, we're here for it. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. That's so awesome because, look, you're doing the do in 22. Yes, yes. You were doing so much in 2021 and 2020 as well. Just to hit you with a couple things, co-owner of the Blank Soul Kitchen. Yes. The Blank Soul Kitchen. See, mm-hmm. I almost said Blank it's again. It's okay. Nope, you got One it. One of my favorite singers personally you're a youtube yeah. creator you just dropped a single yesterday which yes. is another reason why this reschedule was dope yes. now we get to talk about do it as well yes. so like man you've been going crazy i've like, been trying i've been <laughs> trying. trying yes let's dive in a little bit how was your 2021 who it was incredible um sure. it was a lot you know i'm just be honest like it started off Super rushed, like even though super intense, rather. So even though, you know, I celebrate the new year, I feel like March is really like when the new year kicks in for me. And I'm a spring baby, birthdays in May. So that's when I feel more like into the new year. Yeah, so I really gotta get into it. So it definitely started off like super rocky. Grandmother was sick, made her transition. Um, but that's really what just gave me like that super push to just yeah. like literally live my best life. Just some energy to keep pushing. Yes, that's yes, what's up. That's what's yes. Up. So, um, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, but we would travel together all the time. Like she used to take me on cruises and stuff like that. So, um, I just went kind of crazy. Like literally, um, <laughs> she passed away and a week later I got COVID Ooh. and that was like literally just sitting in the house. Like from what I knew, like I literally wasn't going anywhere. You know, that was. Yeah. Obviously, pre vaccine still and all of that stuff. So I was just I in the crib. I that that was like this year. That was, like, yeah, right. All of that was You like know what this I'm saying? Like, that was a lot. It was a lot. Of for months. real. Like, you don't know that was 12 whole months. Yes. Real, no, girl. like, for real. So, um, yeah, I mean, after that happened and then, you know, getting sick when I'm literally just in the crib, I was just like, mm-hmm. okay, fuck it. Like, I'm about to just live my best life. Literally, I was like, it's time to do it. Like, literally. So I just, um, just went for it, pretty much. But I'm yeah, it. that's what's up. So the pedal to the floor. We got some new tracks yeah. out of that, such yeah. as uh, "Off Grid." Mm-hmm. We got some visuals. Mm-hmm. You did some dope performances. Thank you. So as far as the performances and the yeah. and the work you were doing musically for 2021, was that at that same time? Like, was that push in there too? Because I saw you were traveling a lot and things like that, and we were getting you know little clips from songs. You shot a video in Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about that. That's crazy. The video is dope. Thank you. Like, <laughs> it's like it's unreal. Honestly. This push? Um. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I mean, the Jamaica trip was going to happen, but literally everything comes full circle. So, like, 2020, um, we were actually supposed to go to Jamaica, me and my grandmother and my mom. Like, it was a big family thing because we traveled every other year. So, Mm -hmm. 2018 was our last trip. We did, like, Aruba, had a great time, and then, obviously, pandemic hit. Um, And so, you know, she was still here. Like, I was planning my trip with her, you know, like, for 2021, because she's a tourist, May 4th, I'm May 21st. Okay, y'all was going to the whole So, we're, like, yes, like, super, (laughs) you know, like, connected like that. Um, And so, yeah, I mean, Jamaica 21 was the plan. But then I just started, like, thinking bigger and bigger. And I was just like, why can't I shoot a video there? Why can't I, you know? And That creative brain yeah, took it, over. It just took And it was like, I can't over. silence this. I guess we shooting videos I, in Jamaica now. I guess now. we shooting videos in Jamaica. <laughs> like, how do you silence it? You don't silence it. You just keep going. And that's pretty much what I did, um, especially, like, being a post, like, 2020 grad. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So it was just like, okay, we a year post-graduation. Like, this is what Man, you've been waiting for. Man, you've been wanting to drop something. out of school forever. You graduated. <laughs> I feel so you energy. gotta like do like literally what you've been saying you're gonna do. You have to like just follow through with it. So yeah, that's, definitely that's yeah. what's up. So that had to lead to some other stuff too because I realized that you and Jesse as well were the co-owners of Blank Soul Kitchen mm-hmm. and like it's been so awesome to see the yeah. connection because I talk with so many comedians as well. Mm-hmm. So to see um, yeah, yeah, Dave yeah. Mm-hmm. start his thing up in that space as well, yeah. I was like, this is so crazy and so yes. awesome. And I bought tickets even though I couldn't make it to either the corner oh, classic. I hate you couldn't make it. You would have loved it. I like, know it I would have. I love these comedians. I just had TJ okay. on for an episode. Oh, so I, 
Oh, I, I didn't even know TJ. that. See, he I need to watch that. TJ, yeah, no, I, it hasn't dropped yet. <laughs> okay. TJ is one of my favorites, and he's nice. like also a rapper too. So it's like yeah, he's we got, got some crazy, stuff awesome coming. Story. Wow, that's yeah. even dope. <laughs> like, I'm like thinking you knew that. Like, yeah, that, no clue. Okay, but yeah. Like, so TJ, Teddy, and all of them, like, and like they were using the space and to see that and to see that you know you all shot music videos mm-hmm. in that space. That I've seen uh, some of the music deposit things yep. happen in that space. Mm-hmm. How did all of that come about? What's the story with that? For I sure. definitely want to know. Yes, <laughs> yes. So um, it actually is something that was brewing for sure. Okay. So um, 2018 is when I first met Rachel and Andrew, mm-hmm. and I actually met them through Ifani. That's um, um, the woman that was featured on Off Grid. So that's like my that's bestie. Yeah, Very good no, sis. Y'all were on live yes. yesterday. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, like, Josh, you got to meet her because I feel like, yes, y'all would definitely kick it. But, um, yeah, pretty much I, she was supposed to do a gig and wasn't able to do it and asked if I could do it. Mm-hmm. I wasn't able to do it. But, like, me always... <laughs> Like, who can the, we plug? Right, right. We don't get somebody Literally. in there. Like, <laughs> but since I couldn't do it and I really liked the space, I was like, yes, yeah, so like, what's what's going on in here? You know, so what y'all doing? Yeah, I'm like, what, like, what y'all doing though? Like, can we work on something? One, you know, but... <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. Ever since then, we just started collaborating. Um. With them on shows. So Rachel and Andrew are both artists. Like Rachel paints. Andrew is a wood maker. I don't know. What would you call that? <laughs> The Woodsmith, Wood, right? Yeah, Woodsmith. Wood I'm like, they're that, like that Locksmith, official. but lock, Locksmith, official. Woodsmith. You, yeah. I don't know, but Wood, I like it. Woodworker. Um, woodworker, you know, yeah. You know, something like that. And he's like really cool as fuck. Like literally right. like makes dope ass art, both of them. Um, yeah. <laughs> right, right. No, like they're just good vibes all around. But um, awesome. yeah, so pretty much like uh, we threw a couple shows. They would pretty much like fill the whole space with art, um, collaborate with different artists across the city so that, you know, they would um, also like put their stuff in the gallery, have an art show. And then we would just provide the music for the art show. So come together, got a okay. concert gallery feel. Well, vibe yeah. So that was like 2018. We might have done like two or three shows that just went like really great. Um, like ticket sales, everything was dope. And then obviously the pandemic hit. Um, and that was also when I had just like graduated and moved back to Chicago. Um, so we were just like kind of brainstorming with each other, like, what can we do though? Because we're on lockdown yeah, and you know, get the space back <laughs> right. jumping, exactly, but not too jumping, but like. not too. <laughs> so we tried a virtual show, um, in October of 2020, and that that went well, but I didn't care too much for like the virtual, you know, it's just not the same, it, you know, there's ways to do it, but you got it's like a production, yeah, level that's almost like I don't know if you've heard of Toby Nowig, Toby Nowig, of course, but yeah, he did his pandemic experience, and I was like, that's professional, mm-hmm. you got a full stay, it's almost like a concert, like, absolutely, movie. and that's really the only way that you feel as immersed, other than that, it's costs. real hard, <laughs> like, you know, it's like it's, it's a lot yeah, of money, yeah, um. Like, He's but, still you know, charging for the tickets. On right. That one. He like literally he, he recorded it, has dropped it three times. Mm-hmm. I saw a virtual show. What's her name? I always pronounce it wrong. Tanrell. Tanrell. T A N E R E L L E. Okay, well, shout out I, to her. I know so, how to spell. Sounds it. like you said it right. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, but her virtual show was so cool. And I was just mm-hmm. like, oh man. Okay. Back to Blank House. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we did a virtual show. That was dope. And then that pretty much then is when they just were like, look, you guys are out here now. Like, we're in the city because, you know, I was in DeKalb. So mm-hmm. you're in the city. Let's do this. Like, do y'all want to be a part of, like, the team officially co-owners? So it's like, you know, two years later, pretty much. We started in 2018. So yeah, two like years it, later. It culminated. Mm-hmm, yep. Sure. Yep. So they presented us with that opportunity. We were like, cool, you know, so we're paying monthly rent, helping them out. Um, and then by the time, you know summer hit that's when things really like jumped off so that's when you're seeing um the corner classic you know the comedy shows and yeah. all the rentals and you know really just getting back to like what the original purpose was in that Which space so, so awesome. it's yeah super cool it's awesome to see you all having a hand in that and like bringing up those things because even like the fact that i knew about these comedians outside yeah of, outside of anything to do mm-hmm. with people who i've known for years like you and it's just like to see you all bring that together to see you all making sure you know showcase the art and the talent that we have here yeah that's yeah. so awesome so it's, it's just great. kudos for that thank like, that's you so thank dope. you that's so awesome i appreciate it and i love doing it you know like i hope i love helping them um, we actually work the rentals too. So like mm-hmm. um, 
at Dave's comedy show. I'm like, you know, doing the tickets at the door and stuff like that. Bryson was like bartending. Damn, I gotta go. You gotta, like, it's a vibe. It's like, all, I always yeah. end up having work. I always buy the tickets okay. and I go, like, I'm gonna make sure I don't have work. I feel then, that. Like, I gave my tickets to my homies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, and I'm just like, yo, I think I just keep buying tickets for other people. <laughs> right, right. Which like, is, which is, go which is dope too, though. But no, yeah. I gotta support. I feel like I <laughs> yeah. have to support. Like, I we saw them live it, yeah. at, uh, at the Laugh Factory. I was working okay, audio nice. for a gig. Oh, cool. So, yeah, so a production company was doing video. I was doing the audio to make sure we can get like a cut for the comedians who were there. And like, I got introduced to each one of them. Like, nice. I think, like D. Lou was there, uh, TJ Stokes, so Brad, like, David Bradley, like, all of them. And I was just like, wow, like that one event. And just to see where everyone is. Kels mm-hmm. the Comic was there too. I love okay. her. Oh my nice. gosh, she's yes. so funny. She's hilarious. <laughs> so crazy. Like, oh, I could die. Like, just watching her social media all day makes me die. Yes. Like, I need to get her on this podcast. Like, Yes, you should. That would be fire. They're, they're amazing. Like, both shows. Of course, it's always, like, nerve-wracking because mm-hmm. it's something new. Like, I've, I've always done, like, music stuff, but even, like, the comedy thing, I was like, ah, okay, we, like, we're like, hosting now. Gonna... You know, just, like, wanting to make sure everything is up, you know, up to par, like set for them, like just wanting everything to just feel and like be making good. sure that space is yeah. like as versatile as it claims. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, I mean, if it doesn't, they gonna clown us in, on the stage. I mean, but at the same <laughs> not time, really, I'm, but a, you know. I'm a firm believer in if you're doing some creative art, no matter where it takes place, it's so cool. That's why, like, yeah. the so far sound shows like, yes. go so hard. Yes, because it's like this, you might be in the back of a like Absolutely. car garage mm-hmm. or some shit, and it's like we're about to do a concert here. And yeah, it still hits. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like. Cool. Always so dope. I love I love that it works. Like it's yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe, G. You gotta come through. I'm definitely coming definitely. through. Now to transition from you getting people on the stage to you being on the stage, mm-hmm. the Midwest Music Deposit with the live band, Warped, Warped Wonder. Wonder. Yep. Amazing. They're fire. I've watched it at least a hundred times Thank you. on my own because it's just so dope. And you know, shout out Jesse too. He had okay. y'all did throw it all the way. Y'all did throw it all the way. Come on, man. We're crazy. Throw it away like balled up homework or bad grades. But y'all went crazy on that. What was it like performing with that live band, kicking off that series as well? Like yes. what was that like? That had to be um, a cool experience. It was super cool. Again, very nerve wracking. Like <laughs> I truly I don't think I'd ever performed with a full band like that. And that's it. Like, I don't think I had ever saw you perform with a full band. That's why as a fan of you, I was just like, oh, this Um, is going to be insane. But that (laughs) is like so, man, it was so cool. Obviously, I just want to keep it going. I just want to keep doing more of that. Like, Mm -hmm. I love them. Everyone was super cool. Um, The other vocalist, Tyreek, was also dope. Oh, yeah. Um, He killed it with the love. Yeah, yeah. And, like, every time I hear that Miss Susie at TikTok, I'm like, hey, bro, that's. I was. And he had his own um, for We Revolutionary. He had his own, like, portion that he had created. And I didn't even hear it prior to. Um, meeting them and going like we had no rehearsal. Oh, that's wild. So like, so they just go there. Maybe I they need just, them on they the show just too. go all <laughs> out. I'm talking about like heavy hitters. Like we we came and it was like full production. Like I don't know what I expected or their solos you know, were insane. It was yes. so cohesive. How many times? Like were there rehearsals before? I'm no, that's what I'm saying. So like Whoa. we we hadn't met before. Um, it was like we're gonna shoot and rehearse. Yeah, today. that's why I was nervous because it's like I'd never I done understand. with a live band, and then it was just like okay, popping up, trusting the arrangement. Arrangements and just like we, of course, we ran it through a couple times before filming. Yeah, but, but like, even that your, was this like was your first day hearing the arrangement. Yes, <laughs> man, yo, that's but wild. Fun, but though. also, shout out to you for being an artist because yes, you was in you, there. Thank you, like, thank come you. on, that's so wild. Thank you. But it was it was super cool though. They're fun, and then we also got to host them at Blank House for. Um, and that's a, what yeah. I noticed. So that was nice. The next one I was watching was Color, and I was like, mm-hmm. that's at. The venue, yeah. I was just like, that oh, was, this is so dope cool. to like, see yeah. all of this stuff working out. Because I'm assuming, like, after they approached you, it was like, yeah, you know, it's just seeing the relationships play out from mm-hmm. the creative side. Yes, you, you and literally just blossom and grow. Like, yes. Yep. Man, that's so awesome. So aside from that, are there any more performances coming up? I want to ask that question intensely. So. It's like, I need to know, <laughs> like, will I get to see a deal with this well. whole band um, arrangement again? So we're working on that. Yes. Yes. In short, we are working on that. Um, A big thing for me in 2021 was just finally like getting some more music out there. You Mm. know, Um, I had done We're Revolutionary in 2020. But before that, thank you. I appreciate it. 
Um, but before that, all I had was Emerald Introspection, literally. And then, like, of course, when we did Free. But that was about it, you know? Like, And I feel like I often would blame college on yeah, not... Yeah, the catalog not being... Yeah, as your, I would like, just be like, oh, but... Content yeah, it was like, oh, I'm in school. Oh, but... I'm in a sorority. You know, oh, it's yeah, just like nah, always something you. else. It was the same thing um, with doing audio work or even doing right. this podcast. Like, I feel like I crushed school so mm-hmm. long where it was like, uh, I'm just going to use this. Right, but we made it, you know, like, so, right. Like, we, yeah, we made it. And, word. and we still put that work in while we were in school, which was super cool. I mean, even like what we majored in and stuff like that, like all of that definitely played a part in keeping the creativity pumping. 100%. Um, but yeah, so now that I've done that, you know, I'm like consistent, got some, uh, you know, singles tucked away and stuff. Keep it, keep it rolling. Hey, look. Keep rolling. You heard one of them. That's what I did. Oh my god. Um, oh, I can't wait so, till that comes out. Yeah, Whenever so, you drop that one, it's gonna have more streams because I play it off my phone all the time. It's like I just want to. <laughs> I'm so excited you, for that one. I just one need to you to get the stream money. <laughs> right, like, right. Come on, I've been playing it. Like, let me <laughs> let me get a chance to pay. Uh, but <laughs> now that you know, I finally feel comfortable and in that, and um, now that I feel myself progressing, and I'm like, okay, cool. I'm ready to perform. You know, gotcha, I feel like I. You know, I just didn't want to get up on stage like singing a bunch of like songs that I don't even really like resonate with, like from yeah, two because, years ago. From, yeah. It's just you know different stages of life yeah. with the music. Now, so you're in the new stage, you're dropping new mm-hmm. singles, we've got newer tracks. What was this this uh thought behind the New Year's Eve drop? Because that was yeah. awesome. I loved the short notice. Thank like you. the second I found out, I was like, okay, I'm yeah. waiting. And yeah. then it came out and I was like, okay, let's play it. Um, like you, it was really like a real quick little process. You dropped it, got it out there, and it was yeah, we're gonna Perfect see more here. of that. I'm gonna, okay. I'm about to be dropping. Just like here's a track, <laughs> like dropping it like it's hey, hot. It, that's what's yeah, up. I'm. It's about to be a lot more of that. Um, let's see how it came to be. So shout out J Doug. I have been recording with him, even though I do have an in-home studio. And we actually recorded those songs over the summer. So like, do it's been recorded. Off grid's been recorded. There's Man. several other songs that have been recorded. For do it to hit so hard as a New Year's Eve song. That that's took a lot of thought. Record it. So, did you record it with that intention? No. Okay. No. <laughs> no. I was gonna drop a whole project. Okay. I was gonna have off grid do it. Like it was gonna be a whole EP. Like you gonna get a whole. Little yeah. Thing. It, was, it was gonna be an EP moment, and then, um, I don't know. It was just all up to me, really. I just started like piggybacking off of all my friends. Like, mm-hmm. what do you guys think about? If I don't do the project, because I feel like a lot, even though projects do well, I just have to kind of look at myself as an artist. Like, yes, I feel like people would have digested an uh, an EP from me and yeah. enjoyed it, but at the same time, it's like, okay, let's let's go all out. Like those singles kind of hit different. Like I know the singles kind of do better, so I really just had to think like from the business perspective of like just kind of what made the most sense. And you know, I was hearing do it. And off grid pass, you know, I let that ride out for a couple months, and mm. I started picking up the covers on YouTube, and that was doing really oh, the, well. Don't think that's and not so, on my list. That's another <laughs> section. We're gonna talk about them covers. We're gonna talk so, about the covers. Thank you, thank you. So, um, the covers were doing well. So I was like, hmm, you know, I'm like, mind you, I'm like playing these songs for months. You know what I'm saying? Like so you, they're in your headphones. All yes, the time. all the time. And I'm like listening to them, and I'm like, hmm, this do it track, like. Because I wrote it way earlier in the year. So it was really piggybacking off of how I felt about like 2020, yeah. which is why we saw the 2021 push. So it's it's funny because, yeah. <laughs> it drops mm-hmm. it as like something that's actually about the past, but it's applicable it's for the future happened, as a listener. Yes. Mm-hmm. So as somebody who listens to it, it's like, oh, I can apply this to my 2021, but for you, it's 20. Wow, I don't think I ever thought about that. That's that, wild. That's exactly what it is. Because it's, it's so an older dope, track. Though. Like, I, I made it almost a year ago, technically. So, mm-hmm. like, uh, yeah, but it resonates. And, I mean, that's still my energy for 2022. Absolutely. 2022 and beyond. Like, that literally is just, just keep it up. always going to be the energy. But, yeah, that's, that's yeah. That's, that's so that track. Awesome. Let's do it. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just such a dope concept behind it. And that's, like, so cool to even, like, hear the deeper aspect. Mm-hmm. Like, to hear that for you, that track is about a whole year before. What we saw, literally. Hey, like, all the stuff I, we just talked but about. I'm, like, And that's what's crazy, because it starts off with that after the year we've had. And I'm over here thinking about my 2020, but it's right. so wild. It's but so dope. Literally, that. that's why. Because it was, like, that 2020 rough spot grandmother passing and like me recording that like right after and mm-hmm. she made her transition in march so literally like it was me being reminiscent of all of that um and then just like pushing through it really was like my soundtrack through the summer that's why i wanted it to be like a whole project and everything but then i was like 
Yeah, let's give this one. As and a it's thing. hitting. It's hitting with this timing. I like it. So yeah. I mean, yeah, I thought the timing was perfect. Mm-hmm. The cover's perfect too. That's thank what you, really Mastermind hits Photo. For. Shout out Mastermind Photo. Shout out because that yes. picture. I'm just like this has. It's like powerful in a sense. Thank like you. you know, for an album cover. Thank you. It's so got much. that like really cool lights from it. Almost gives me like a 70s mm-hmm. vibe, but the clarity is so dope. And we will it's get like, a video. So yes. Oh come on. Yes. Hey, we're gonna go all up. out. We're we're gonna keep. We're, we're gonna I keep going. So be out here for it. I love a video for it. So we talked about this a little bit, but I. I want to dive a little bit deeper into these YouTube covers. Okay. These YouTube covers are going crazy. You had the Pressure Ari Linux one. You had the uh, new joint you just did was the Summer Walker. Yeah, Summer insane. Walker insane. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. So how was it getting? What was it like 14k views? Yeah. That what was it like now, getting yeah. that on um, on a cover in the crib? Like, first of all, you killed it, of course. Thank you. Thank but, you. But like, what was it like just to throw that one on YouTube and get that response? Honestly, that was pretty crazy. Like, um, I always thought covers were really cringy. That's why I've never done any covers. Really? Yes. Like, I, literally. I love covers. I, I do. <laughs> but it's crazy. I love covers, too. But I doing will watch the cover. people. I've li- like, even since early YouTube days, yeah. since we grew up with the internet. So, like, I literally, Chloe Halley, I used to watch their covers. Yeah. Like, oh, um, was killing it. What's another one? Um, I'm, I'm really getting upset that Pentatonics I'm not doing that. was a group that did covers. That's like a whole acapella yeah, group. Yes. They went crazy I on love, YouTube doing yes. covers. Um, and then. Um, Tori Kelly, she killed it. She did the PYT cover back women, in the day. These two black women. Something Nessa. Oh, mm. Van and Jess? Van and Jess. Van and Jess. Van and Jess. Thank you. Yeah. I used to watch them all the time. Go like crazy. those were those were like two of my faves, honestly. They go um, so insane. Yeah. It's like just to see those covers, and it's hilarious that you like that many covers. Yeah. Like, those are people who like make covers their own, and I feel like you almost did that with your your mm-hmm. covers as well. Yeah, like, and they were usually acapella too, to low it. key. Like mm-hmm. I don't think they would be like beating on something. Yeah, or, maybe a little like mm-hmm. I got a guitar in mm-hmm. hand, hitting yeah. just the simple chords. Yep, man, just yeah. But they're dope. Um, but yeah, I actually had dropped my first cover at the start of um, 2021. I did a Free Fall Duran Bernard cover. Oh, that one did yeah, okay. I remember that because mm-hmm. didn't he respond? He I did. Love, he responded on TikTok Durant. and they followed me Durant on Twitter. Bernard. Like, oh my Durant God. Bernard, I love you. Can we please work together tomorrow? Oh my God, my number is 708. Awesome. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> It's like, you can call me personally. If you all ever work together, I would, go, like, I would probably will. lose my shit I, I, because yes. like his voice is one of the most beautiful beautiful things ever the things he can do I love Durant like his covers that he does when uh he's on the Terrell show those are always my favorite episodes yes. of the Terrell show he has this uh there's this one video you can ask Jesse I've pl- I've watched this video so many times and he's like singing free fall but it's super slowed down mm-hmm. and the way he's just like ripping those runs like it's it's crazy but yeah I did that and then I um did a cover to my brother's song and so I think I only dropped four covers um mm-hmm. in 2021 um, yeah, but then I did the Ari Linux pressure, and I love Ari Linux. Like, you know, so that when was that like a given. Dropped, when it dropped, ready. I knew the Jermaine lyrics Dupree? the next day. Like, Jermaine I was... Dupree? <laughs> like, I was like, this is the Jermaine we yes. love. Like, this is what, this is so, so, so. Yes. Like, I was mad I was there for it. I was so there yes. for it. Yes, same. I knew the lyrics the next day. I was, I was plotting. She was so crazy she went on the video. Crazy. She went I love crazy. the, uh, the 2000s Aaliyah. That's my mm-hmm. favorite shot. Oh, yeah. In the camera with yeah. the blue glasses. A vibe. Man. Oh, so classic. I just, I love the fluffy, like the, so fun. Um, But yeah, uh, so as soon as I, I heard the song, I was like, oh, yes, this like, is it. And Ari is my girl. Like, I've been waiting to like hear, like, you know, some new stuff from her. Yeah, like mm-hmm. lockdown, I was watching all her lives. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, uh, we were best friends as far as I'm concerned. Like, like, she will yeah. tell you everything going yes, on with her life yes. on an IG live. Yes, um, <laughs> she absolutely will. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was just, it was super cool. I, I was shocked, honestly, because I didn't realize that you could do ads and stuff on YouTube. And that was after the fact, you know? Like, I was like, uh-huh. dang, like, I could have promoted this even more. So, that's like, just like... Can monetize this yeah, really. no, seriously. It's like, seriously, it's just so much to do because I still don't have a manager or anything. So, I just, like, do everything myself, like, super independent, just, like, trying to... Um, grind through it but that was dope it was like finally like seeing payoff like it's just cool when you get those yeah like those small like you know just little it was like I enjoyed making that art and you all received it yeah and and it it feels good (laughs) thank you literally it feels good like this one dude this one comment was so funny he was like 
great job emulating. It was just like he tried to use like all these like super deep mystical words. words. And I was like, thank great you. Great job you emulating. Know? Yeah, was like, thank I was like, you. Mm. Some snaps <laughs> on it. <laughs> he had a lot of words in there. It was funny. It was cute. So um, but yeah, it was just super cool. I'm just appreciative. Um, yeah. Do we have more covers on the way? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to keep the covers yeah. up. We got more singles on the way. Yep. Anything else going on? Oh. Hmm. Yes, but it's like hard to, I don't know what to share. Cause, got you, got you. You know, I don't know. So from the front of what you can share, I guess, or what's happening, what's coming up. Like, well, we know we'll get a visual for Do It. Yes, you did say we that. We absolutely will have some performances going back to that. I know for mm-hmm. sure I have a gig in February uh, for Rolling Pretty, which is, oh, I'm so excited about this one. I feel like this is going to be the perfect environment for me to perform in, especially me like having not performed in a while. Mm-hmm. I feel like this will be really, really good. Cause I don't it's think just, I've ever um, heard of Rolling Pretty before. It's, it's an all-women cannabis group, essentially. Whoa, that's um, dope. And so I went to one of their events a couple months ago, and there was just like tents set up in the wood, DJs, and just like Whoa, nothing but okay. like cannabis vendors. Like Straight there were like by. shrooms. Like it was just everything, pretty much. And they had one... Um, performer who was super cool, but I was like, okay, I want to do this. You know, like this is, yeah, I was like, how do I apply? Can I? <laughs> so that'll be cool. That's in February. Um, and yeah, more stuff. It, it's coming. It's coming. That's dope coming. as hell. Now, I do have a question that mm-hmm. I'm going to ask every time any artist comes on the podcast. Mm-hmm. How are you fostering your creativity? Like, how are you taking care of your creative self? You know, you said you had this whole, like, process of get, diving back into the music this yeah. year. And I'm sure that that was creatively straining, even if it was creatively rewarding. rewarding. Mm-hmm. Like, how would you do to just make sure you know you were on top of your creativity? Hmm. Well, my planner's my best friend, first oh, and amen. foremost. I got three. Um, but yeah. No, man, <laughs> I feel that. Be creative, I, I real life, that. and then the iPad is I my third. I love that. Because mm-hmm. I bought my dad a planner for travel for uh, Christmas, and I was like... For some reason, I'd never thought of planners planners in that way. Like, you have, mm-hmm. like, a fitness planner. And a, I love yep. that. But, yeah, um, my planner was my best friend. Um, how else did I foster that? Honestly, working with children helps my creativity a lot. Um, and I've always worked with children, but I feel like, I mean, my role has switched because now I'm, like, an actual teacher pretty much, like an after-school teacher and stuff like that. Sure, and that's um, for sure. Yeah, I got to tell you something else when we're done with the <laughs> podcast. Because it's like, I'm just wanting to talk to you. <laughs> we got to make um, sure we keep the Yeah, line. exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. But I'm okay. like, camera. <laughs> um, yeah, but that helps a lot. Um, just like keeping it, you know, keeping the creativity going all the time. Um, what else? Social media has has been like really annoying for me. Like, I it's, it's just such... Mm-hmm. When you're independent, it's it's like everything. Everything. You know, um, and you gotta run, and you everything. and you gotta run everything. So there's like been so many days where I'm like leaving work just to like get home and like film like TikToks and stuff like that, and it feels and like work. I was telling you, that's why I'm not making no TikToks yeah, right now. I'm yeah. like, y'all know I ain't slept. Like these Man. might be some cool little TikToks. I might have showed you a cool song, mm-hmm. but. Bro, I need to sleep. Like, yeah, yeah, man. You you will be on TikTok for hours and be like, where did the time just go? For real, um, I'm trying to think of a new idea. Watching yeah, exactly. Other yeah, to some, I'm to like, what, what are the new sounds? Because there's always a new sound or something. Yeah, what are the kids? Can I, can I figure out a sample? But and see, try to that's flip why the kids have been this? helping too, though. Because I like work with old point. age, older school age kids. So you know they so keep me. They keep me pretty hip. You gotta you gotta do this dance. Yeah, exactly. Hey, that's what's up. They keep me hip to the stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I hope I answered that fully. But. No, I think you did. Okay. I mean, it's also you can answer everything. Yeah, you want to. yeah. I mean, hey, I just some people can be sure like, I'm... yo, I just go ahead and run yeah. in circles to keep my creativity going. Yeah. Good. But answer. yeah, that that's pretty much what it's been, honestly. <laughs> That's what's and up. traveling for sure. That that helps a lot. Hey, that's what's up. I mean, me. I'm trying to get on my travel like you. I'm yeah. trying to get to that yeah. level. You, well, man. you know, this COVID surging all over again. I was supposed so, to be somewhere for Christmas, right. and it was like, nah, yeah. I'm gonna let this Omarion mm-hmm. chill. Yeah, that's why nah. I personally spend New Year just like in the house and everything. Oh yeah, that's why it was um, perfect. I was like, hey, I haven't done shit. I'm right, like, what's, right. What's yes, what's <laughs> and it feels great. <laughs> and I was, I was looking through my contacts. I was like, who can I contact mm-hmm. who I know is like a safe bet? Yes, right, <laughs> right. That's some real shit. It was like until we have new protocols. Yes, yes, but yeah. man. But yeah, I can't, I can't wait to just travel again. Keep keep it flowing. Um, 
you know, when, when it's safe. <laughs> so, definitely, yeah. definitely. That's so awesome. Well, look, everybody needs to be on the lookout for these new visuals you got, these singles you're going to be dropping, mm-hmm, and these performances mm-hmm, you got mm-hmm, coming mm-hmm. up. What outro track should we leave them with today, and is there anything else you want to say before you head out? We're going to have to do do it. Do it. We got to hit it for them. We got to do it. Take this into your new year. <laughs> this is you doing the do for 2022. We're going to start Yeah, we making it a thing. Yes, it really is a thing. Like, my dad <laughs> says that. Like, oh, it's, we do so it. it's look, official. It's go, it's go, we, we're putting it in the description yes. of this episode. You're going to see it. Do to do 2022. I'm going to get here. a t-shirt. That's going to be my merch. Hey, that'd be cool. <laughs> I hey, know it would. That's, that's fake gold. I was going to say, don't, don't joke too hard on okay, that. Okay, go. I'll buy a shirt. But hey, you're hearing the track playing in the background right now. Thank you all for tuning into the podcast. Make sure you're liking, commenting, and subscribing as always. Share this with somebody. Share with your baby mama, your friend, your cousin, yes. your cousin's baby mama. Share it with somebody. It's okay. Just share the podcast and we out of here. I'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. Can you promise fast